Tennis in the UK has seen audiences declining, both for viewing and playing the game over the past 10 years. Well, a new version of the game that was launched in 2015 is aiming to change all that. Unlike conventional tennis matches, Tiebreak Tens is an exciting short and fast knockout tournament. It's played by eight players over three hours, meaning that the winner is crowned in just one day. Good morning. On this beautiful sunny day in central London, I'm here on the course of the London Marathon, where this Sunday over 39,000 competitors will either run, jog or walk the 26.2 miles. One beauty product that will help get you ready for summer is the Elemis Tan Accelerator. It prepares your skin for tanning by activating your body's own natural melanin, meaning that you don't burn when you're in the sun. Plus, it also helps to keep your skin moisturised, which is an absolute must for fair and sensitive complexions. So, a Mars bar and a Coke, we shouldn't eat these, right? But these healthy products, they're really good for us. Well, what if I told you that this Coke contains less calories than any of these other products, and actually, this healthy vitamin and protein bar has more calories than a Mars bar? Which of these products do you think contains the least calories of them all? It's actually the Coke? Yes. The Coke has the least? No. C'est le moi. Ah ouais? Is, uh, is that surprising? Yes. Which one's the healthiest of all of those? I, I, I think this one. That one? But do you know how much, I mean this markets itself on vitamin and protein bar, do you know how much protein you need in a day? No. You should be eating. No. Well, these, this, it's actually quite good because it gives you 20 grams of protein. Okay. You should be eating 40 grams, so oh, that's, that's quite good. good yeah. but. So you see, just because a product claims to be healthy or natural doesn't mean that it's good for you. I think marketing needs to clean up its act. Although Federer's decision to protect his body for his preferred grass court season is totally understandable, from a fan perspective, it's disappointing that we won't get to see the clash of the two men competing for the world number one ranking. A decade ago, drinking vodka was hip and drinking gin was very uncool. Now gin is the nation's favourite spirit drink and the British public can't get enough of trying new gins. In London alone, there are 24 gin distilleries, making it the nation's gin capital, and the UK is now the world's biggest exporter of gin. Okay, Simon, I would love to have a gin and tonic. It's such okay. a hot day. Okay, lovely. So, um, can you make me a gin and tonic? Um... So, why do you think gin's so popular at the minute? I think things come in, they come around in, in phases. So, you know, gin was quite popular back in the 1900s, but it's like now, especially with Nicholson's and Nicholson's advertising, and a lot of pubs now are doing gin festivals. So, on a sweltering hot day in London, I'm going to stop talking about gin and I'm going to actually try one. Cheers!